Hey you guys, it's Kay here in my Colorado. Heading over to Nashville. It's midweek, so I waited till all the morning rush was over, but now it's almost lunch. So I was drying, not drying, it was already dry. I was uh, cleaning my Moringa. Maybe you saw the post I just made on my community page. If you're not watching my community page, I hope you will. That's where I check in with my community, obviously, on a regular basis. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will. I'm sharing my life here on the homestead with cats and trying to build a sustainable homestead with all the challenges and all the blessings. So if that interests you, please subscribe. So I'm just heading over to Nashville to see my mother who is still alive. I thought maybe two weeks ago she had days to live and she's still, well, she's still alive if you want to call it that. Um, she's in terrible shape. And I don't know how, she she's skin and bones. And she's atrophied and blind and her teeth are falling out. So even unconsciously she's you know she's chewing on her teeth or rubbing them or pushing them or, or something um so i was there i after i got that six hour drive i went back to nashville on sunday after i came back from kentucky i went over there on sunday because i just thought well maybe she had stopped eating and i thought well you know maybe today's the day and so i wanted to be there and she ate a, like all of her dinner. She was fed all of her dinner. And so I turned around and came back home because I was exhausted. Now it's three days later. My brother was there yesterday, one of them. And uh, there was really no recognition, you know, from her to him. And so it's... Uh, it's sad, you know, but uh, God's will be done, and whatever he has planned for her, um, I'm happy to accept that. So, uh, what else? So, here, uh, there's so much left to do, and, you know, my focus has been uh, split, and um, I am getting a little help tomorrow. I got a three days help in the last week and so hopefully tomorrow we can wrap up the lower garden i've got the mums the rare sheffield mum it's still it's i could see from the driveway all the way over this 200 feet away i could see them blooming they have small blooms they're beautiful i showed them on a couple of recent uh community page posts and they're just stunning and this is according to Sharon at Sharon's Natural Gardens, a rare mum that I purchased from her with a bunch of other plants, most of which I let die. So I'm proud, you know, of the fact that I bought a small one and I have a huge one up here and a huge one down in the lower garden in the ground, up here is in, in a pot. I also put some over here in the, um, in the area beside the table but it just got swallowed up by, it's still alive in there, but it got swallowed up by weeds and, and I don't think it bloomed. But there's so much of a story left to tell about the garden. I want to talk about wild bergamot. I want to do plantain salve. I want to do so many things. I'm getting firewood. There's just so much going on on the homestead to try to survive. And we really have to focus on that right now, seriously. If you watch Bear Independent, and I recommended him in my robot video, uh, he posted yesterday, I think, uh, about the seven things you absolutely have to have prepared um, to survive something like what happened in North Carolina. I mean, some people just couldn't survive, period. You were too close to the water. Obviously, the farther away you were from the water, the better ch chance you had of surviving. But there were people far away from the river and mudslides.
where there weren't rivers came down, like at uh, mountains. Uh, I'm going to put the, the link on there. I just saw their post on Facebook about the damage at their place, although no one was killed. They were in the huts, and all the huts were preserved, but the whole mudslide went down beside. So you just have to be prepared with a certain number of things, and one of which is Camo. He's the one that mentioned Camo, and in my last, my robot video, I mentioned that I ha I bought this. This is a Baofeng uh, 8 watt, and he's, he was telling that, that this one small community of 41 people uh, were rescued because one person had a 5 watt Baofeng, and he knew how to use it. He was just talking about this in yesterday's video. You need to know how to use it. I don't know how to use this. If anybody is really experienced with the Baofeng radios, please leave me a comment below because I want to contact you. <laughs> I learn so much better if somebody shows me how to do something. So, and I'm sure there are videos online. I haven't done that yet, but I, I really need to. Um, someone mentioned to me they didn't have money for a generator, and I have compassion for that. Uh, and what I would say to that person is, you need to build community with somebody who has a generator who, who will watch your back and take care of you. And if you don't have enough, but you have some for a generator, look in LSN or Facebook Marketplace and see if you can get a used one. But take somebody with you, probably a guy, let's face it, uh, that knows how to, uh, that, that knows mechanics and can check it out and see if it, if it works right. So it looks like there's a mosquito in here. And so that would be what I would recommend because just because you have a generator, if you don't know how it works, you know, what's going to happen if you don't know how it works, if you don't know how to take care of it, if you don't know that a generator needs oil, that the oil gets dirty and the oil has to be changed and a number of things, but basically it's a pretty simple machine that even I can use. And one of these days I'm going to change the oil in mine so that um, you can see <laughs> that I am teaching myself things I never imagined I would be teaching myself. But as I mentioned in my robot video, the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, and a hundred other countries, at least a hundred other countries. And there are only 194 countries in the world. So over half of the world is signing on to this other financial system and going away from the USD, the US dollar, which has been the, the petrodollar for generations now, decades, many decades. And that's all going away, depending on how they vote today and tomorrow. So pay attention to stories about BRICS. You won't probably hear much about it in the mainstream media because they want to hush-hush everything, but you really need to follow what goes with that because um, that can really affect our dollars already, you know, going down in value. So that could really affect what happens uh, across the board from stores being stocked to a lot of things, and that doesn't even factor in natural disasters or unnatural disasters, whatever, whatever they may be. So be prepared, fill your heart full of love and compassion for your neighbor, and pray that we all get through this. And I hope you keep watching my channel. God bless you. I'll keep you posted about my mother, and I really appreciate all your prayers. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you next time.